it's just like this. Put a lick in there. 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 Five. Four. YouTube. YouTube. Jason Ritchie, subscribe today. Working with the brand new, it's only like eight hours old, MCCD Sessions backing track entitled Blues Backing Track Jam. <laughs> Fed noise titled Fast Chicago Blues Shuffle in G. So I got a C harp. I'm playing through that little amp right there with the with the kind of partially covered up over there. And what we're gonna do is look at that three draw and two of its bends and how they can work over just a cool shuffle. Just those three notes, right? I might add one at the end. Now, I've done lots of lessons on this subject, but I don't know that I've ever done them with the music. So the first thing you gotta know, the first thing you gotta know is where the chords are. One, four, and five, right? So we're in G, so G is one, C is four, and D is five. So on G, I'm gonna play three draw. Just like that. Now I'm gonna bend it. Hear that? Unbent, double, half, single. I mean natural. Again. Like that. Now it doesn't matter what I put before or after it, as long as I hit those notes somewhere on the chord change, I'm gonna be cool. So let's check it out. Here comes five. Four, one, one. Say, man, that three double bends really hard to hit in tune J. Is there any other thing I can do there? Well, there sure is. You could hit four draw or four blow. Both of those are great harmonies of the chord. So, three draw on one. Four. So I hit four blow on five. Again. Bend. Five. 
five, four drum, four. I'm doing right there all those licks and stuff it's it, it just comes from listening to a lot of little Walter a lot of little Walter but using that three draw on the one the four and the five let me stop the music for a second okay cool that was fun so here's the deal what I want to do more than being able to hit three draw three draw half step and three double bend more than any of that is to internalize this song structure. The song structure is a 12 bar blues. So you definitely want to check my other videos uh, linked below that have to do with learning this structure, playing alone, root notes, all that kind of jazz, because even with the backing track, you can get lost. But if you start trying to play without the backing track, you're really going to get lost if you don't know what to do. So check the videos linked below. They will really explain to you this structure and how important it is to memorize it. One of the things that I can do to get really good at memorizing the structure is just some of these root note exercises. Now, earlier in the video, I was explaining to you that all I have to do is hit, you know, the right note or one of the right notes, right? Because there's a lot on each chord. Somewhere during that chord change or, or somewhere during that chord. So if there's four bars of one, all I got to do is hit the right note once somewhere in that those 16 beats, right? Now, I might want to do it a little bit more than that. You know, especially if I'm playing by myself, but let me show you. So I'll just hit the root note on the downbeat of one on each of the 12 bars. Two, three, four. I'm hitting it on one. Two, three, four. Now here comes four. Two, three, 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 four. Now I'm going to keep the beat going. Three, four. One, two, three, four. But I'm just going to talk to you. Three, four. One, two, three, four. That's where the four chord comes in. And I can just talk to you about anything I want. Back to one. One, two, three, four. One. I can tell you that my Instagram just reached 8,000 followers. Four chord. And I'm pretty happy about that. You should subscribe to my Instagram while you're at it. Ready? Two, three, four. But I was just talking to you about Instagram, but yet I still know where the changes are coming. Here comes four. I hit it on a little late. Back to one. Boom. Here comes five. 
Ah! One. So I can... I can actually just tell the whole story and play whenever I want. Right? And now here comes the chain. So I'm somewhere on four. I'm on four now. Just like that. Nah. Back to one. Here comes five. Nah. So I'm teaching a YouTube video on how to keep time and really to internalize these changes and just hit them wherever I want or a little later. And this way I can teach it to you. By just demonstrating that I have this ingrained in me. I can just talk about anything. A ferret's cat. Back to one. Or hedgehogs. I got a uh, I got a capybara video from Philippe Jairs today. It was the not the cutest capybara either. You know his teeth looked kind of ugly. I thought they were all cute all the time, but that one looked kind of ugly, Philippe. Okay, now same exercise, but this time I'm going to use those three bends I gave you, all on the three draw. Now here comes four. Back to one, two, three, four. Here comes five and four. Right, so it's just two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I skipped a bar, I'm skipping another bar here. Two, three, four, skip bar six, bar seven, bar eight. Bar nine, bar ten, bar eleven. Let me think of a story. I'll tell you a story. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, here comes a good one. Here we go. Okay, so when I was like 21 years old, I was waiting outside the blues bouquet. I was waiting on Mark Hummel in Boise, Idaho, who I had never met before in my entire life. <laughs> but he was one of my heroes, and I wanted him to hear me play Juke. <laughs> yeah, so I waited out there all day, <laughs> waiting for Mark Hummel, and finally his van shows up, and I say, hey, yo, Mark, <laughs> I'm a harmonica player, and I wanted to tell you that I can play juke. <laughs> And he said, okay, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. First he said, your fly's undone. And then he walked in the club and left me out there. I wasn't old enough to get in the club, so I had to wait. <laughs> like an hour or two. And it was cold. But I waited. And then he came out and he said, okay, kid, let me hear you play juke. <laughs> Right? And I said, okay, Mark, here, I'll play it. And he said, all right, well, I'm getting ready to play for you now. And he said, okay, go ahead, do it. And I went like this. 
And he said, wrong. <laughs> and I said, well, how do you do it right? He said, do it like this. Just like that. Start a three double bang. So I can do this even with the shoe clip. idea what's in my head one two three four one two three four one two three four root of one two three four three four four two three four one two three four one two three four five two three four four two three four one two three four one I made a little adjustment on my microphone Sorry about the last couple videos with the treble issue. I've had some mixing stuff here that I just, I forget to address. I apologize. All right. Let's go back to MCCD Sessions, Fast Chicago Blue Shuffle in G. I've got the Jason Ritchie signature mic from Lone Wolf, Blue Moon Harp, and that little 60s premiere amp straight in. Let's count it out, ready? One chord, one chord, one chord, one chord, four chord, four chord, one chord, one chord, five chord, four chord, one chord, bar by bar. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one two three four four two three four four two three four one two three four one two three four five two three four four two three four one two three four one two three four 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 two three four
concentration but you feel me YouTube you feel me <clears throat> having it in here and in here one two three four one put a lick in there I know where the root is I know where the harmony is look you know this is why we learn the root notes we learn the root notes so that we can learn the harmonies we learn the arpeggios so we can learn all of the harmonies what if I was wanting to arpeggiate every one of these chords right same exercise Really is. Check it out. That was six chords, sevens. Major triads. like that just keep adding to it you keep adding to it but the first step is understanding where in the progression you are at all times no matter just like I was doing earlier telling a story while the progression was going on you know it takes a while to get there but you can get there and the fun part is you can do all of this by playing by yourself and just counting Check out the 12 bar blues structure I put up. Four bars of one, two bars of four, back to two bars of one, one bar of five, one bar of four, two more remaining bars of one. What? Stay tuned for the credits. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right, 16 years. At this point, over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas, bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need 
for your amplified harmonica need. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp gear, amplifiers, they got big ones, they got small ones, you know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear, amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards, incredible custom pedal boards built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas, a moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the Marine Band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday, there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years of these videos. Met a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.